with Nike uh, for a little over 24 years now. Um, before that, uh, I was actually a track and field coach uh, at Wichita State University in Wichita, Kansas. Okay, some rules of engagement, ROEs. This is rules of athlete engagement. Um, and this is, uh, this is not all inclusive. This is just a few of them. Um, but the, the first thing is um, you have to gain their trust. You know, they need to know that I am there for them. So that there's this trust that has to begin, especially the very first time that you meet them. There's a natural kind of like caution kind of field. You can almost feel it when you're working with these athletes. And you have to kind of break that down. So you have to gain their trust. Be a good listener, as uh, Ellen said at the beginning. We have to be good listeners uh, and uh, let them um, you know, lead me, not me lead the witness. Um, and uh, learn to observe what is not spoken. That's a real key. You gotta learn, gotta, you gotta feel your way through what their, their actions are, their body actions, because you have to know the, the person first rather than really know um, the actual product that you're gonna design for them. And, and that's, that's really uh, important. And ultimately, um, all of this means that we're committing. We're committing to working for them. I always feel like that, um, you know, that learning from the tip of the spear, um, from those who are very perceptive, for those who are athletes that they're there for a reason. They're, they're, the top, they're at the top of their game because they're just different than most people in this world. <laughs> Some of you may remember, um, uh, you know, the, the 1996 Michael Johnson gold shoes. And I worked with, uh, with Michael Johnson actually a little bit on this as far as, you know, directly communicating. Um, but my main focus on this particular product um, was to take the information that was coming from the marketing, the sports marketing people, uh, and that was being relayed to us. And um, for, for about eight months prior to the um, Olympics, um, we were working on a shoe uh, that basically he wanted it to be a little bit more like a mirror, like it was it, like he hadn't seen that before. Uh, he wanted it to be the lightest weight thing out there. He wanted it. There were a lot of different things, but from a visual standpoint, he wanted it to kind of, kind of be a reflective kind of thing. And um, we worked for about eight months on a material that uh, was trying to mimic what he was wanting, and. Uh, all along, um, it kept looking like a, just simply looked like silver, the color silver. And I'm just like, this is just driving me crazy because, you know, this guy is going out there and he's trying to accomplish something that no one's ever done before to win a gold medal in both the 200 and the 400 meters. And so this guy is all about gold. He's never won a silver. Even when he was in Barcelona, he won gold uh, in the relay. And in the world championships, he's won gold. He's never won anything but gold. Uh, and so why would we put something on his feet that looked like silver? <laughs> and so um, I uh, simply just um, asked our materials person over, uh, overseas and said um, we had basically one more shot at showing him what, we, what he was going to wear potentially for the Olympic trials and the Olympics in Atlanta. And, um, and so I said, go out and uh, give me your best looking synthetic gold material. Um, and so they went and they did that. And they said, oh, give me some of your, uh, some purple as well, because we knew that his favorite color was purple. So um, we, we had one more shot at showing him, you know, what we were doing. And so we had some of these, the, la the last looks of this silver looking thing uh, that was supposed to be mirror, but it really was silver. And, uh, and we laid them out on the table in front of Michael, and there was like about four of those silver-looking things, and then there was the purple shoe, and then there was the gold shoe. And in ten, 10 seconds, he looks at it, and he goes like this, like this, like this, and he goes, and he pointed to the purple, and he goes, Olympic trials. And he pointed to the gold, and he said, the Olympics. And all this eight months of work right here was gone in 10, in 10 seconds. But I was actually happy because 
Um, I think, you know, the identity for him, again, uh, was definitely gold. And we weren't really listening that well, quite frankly. And, and I think that we kind of missed the boat. Um, but thankfully, you know, we got it there right at the end. Um, and so he goes on and does, does his thing in the Olympics, uh, which is pretty cool.